What's good, Storm fans? I am Brian Cook, and today we're playing the Epic Gamble, a Tony Scaponi creation. If you're a fan of this deck, you might actually like another video that I recently uploaded. You can find that video in the card above. It is Black Saga Storm. I recorded that with Tony about a week and a half ago. We went undefeated, got the trophy. The league is super fun. I promise you that you'll like it, so go check that out. But today we're playing the Micahs in the Gardens, a brand new card from Phyrexia All Will Be One. It's a land that taps for a colorless. You can also pay a colorless and tap the Micah Synth Gardens, filter into a man of any color, pretty good. And then the last ability is you can pay X and copy target non-token artifact with mana value of X, which means that you can copy Lion's Eye Diamond, which is pretty interesting because Lion's Eye Diamond doesn't tap to sacrifice, which means that you can just sacrifice both copies of Lion's Eye Diamond and flashback Echo of Ands on the first turn. Pretty powerful, and that's why I'm showcasing it in this deck here. While you can play the Micah Synth Gardens in the Epic Storm, I think it's better in the Epic Gamble, where we have three main deck copies of Echo of Aeons, and we have Gamble to search up Lion's Eye Diamond. I think it's just a match made in heaven. Like, it's perfect. But before we go any further, friendly reminder, two days ago from the time that this goes live, but as I record this, it's been nine hours, I uploaded a venerated Rot Priest combo deck in Modern, with a bunch of cards from Frexia, all will be one, mostly the venerated Rot Priest, but it's really awesome. It's an Infect Storm Breach combo deck. It's really, really powerful. I had a number of turn two wins in that video. It's bonkers. That's probably going to get banned. You should go see it. It's a really, really sweet league. I'd really appreciate it if you would go watch that. But back to this video, uh, what we ended up cutting was two copies of Shatter Skull Smashing, the main deck Volcanic Island, and the second copy of City of Traders. I think these are all like pretty free cuts. My only concern is not having initial red mana for Rite of Flame, Overmaster, or Gamble. We'll see how impactful that is. That said, the Micah Synth Gardens, I think, is a huge upgrade for this deck. Let's see how it plays out in the first match. Don't go anywhere. Match number one is coming up in just a moment. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. You can also show your support by becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks such as badges, emotes, exclusive members only content, and access to our members discord section. As you increase the tiers, there are other rewards such as shop discounts, cyborg guides, early access to videos, and even free donation decks. Click the join button down below to find out more. We also have other ways you can support us such as theepicsroom.com slash shop or submitting a donation deck via the epicstorm.com slash donation decks. That's enough for now. Let's play some magic. Welcome to the first round. We are on the play. We have two copies of the Micah Seventh Gardens. If this was a mountain or a red source, we could cast Overmaster. So here we're seeing it, you know, maybe bite us in the butt from the get-go. Um, that said, neither of these are Gamble, so we don't actually have access to Lion's Eye Diamond. This hand probably would have been a mulligan anyway. Let's ship it. Tony, not a good start, my friend. Not a good start. We're going to have to ship this as well. Mulligan to five. We have Bergy. That doesn't actually do anything. Yeah, we're going to five. Am I supposed to just keep this and pray? Our opponent is someone who plays fours. This is a four card hand, so we could keep double gardens grid. I guess so. Not the way I wanted to start this league. Land pass. A wasteland? That is not very nice. Draw. Play another gardens, pass the turn. We don't really want to copy Mox Opal. It is a legendary artifact, just throwing that out there. Cavern of Souls. The name Rat? Okay. Sure. Draw for turn. Lotus Petal. Hmm, should I play out? Okay, I, I guess I hit the two button on accident. Okay, so I was wondering if I should play out the opal. I'm not really sure. We'll see what our opponent does with cavern on rat. Swarm yard. Okay, so they're probably not on a blue deck today. I could have gone to three. Rat colony, sure thing. We might lose to it. We have found a gamble. Let's go attempt to grab lines at diamond. Hey, that was actually best possible outcome. Okay, so now we'll play the opal. Copy the lines at diamond. And now this taps for mana. So we'll tap this for red. Sacrifice this for blue. Sacrifice this for red. And we'll flashback echo. 
So we got to do the thing in the first game. Uh, we could play Bergy here. And by Bergy, I mean Hornfell. Probably want to float a red. Discard the defense grid. And our opponent just snap conceded. Let's see if we could draw. It's not going to let me. Okay. Really surprised by that. We didn't have it locked up. Bring in Void Snare and the Echoing Truths for Leyline of the Void. Could also try bringing in some empties. Tony would tell me to always leave in defense grid. Tony hates boarding out grid. I'm going to board out two grids. Tony's not here to stop me. I can get away with it. Um, we probably don't need these overmasters. Tony would say leave in all four grids for mind break trap. I'm kind of wondering if we want empty. I can just hear Tony shaming me in my head about not boarding out defense grid. All right. I guess we'll do this. All right. So this is a powerful relay hand. I guess we can keep this. We, it could also be turn one horn fell. They have ley line of the void. Surprise, surprise. Marsh flats. They grab a basic swamp and a vial. Draw for turn. Lotus petal. Okay, so we'll play that out. Don't think I want to play horn here. Maybe I'm wrong. The right of flames don't stack. I think I'm going to relay. So we'll play right of flame. Play the bergy. Right of flame again. Bergy triggers. Play the Chrome Mox. Bergy triggers again. No, I would not like to imprint. And then we'll Galvanic Relay. We are insulated from our opponent having discard spells because, well, we only have a land in hand. Looks like we hit another Bergy and a couple relays. Also looks like we hit a defense grid. Wasteland. Ball therapy. Good luck. Like, the only card I would have in my hand right now is, like, Burning Wish or Echo. So, you, like, you should probably just name Burning Wish. They named the Echo, which is a fair name. Draw. Gardens. We don't have a diamond, so I'm going to sit on this. Um, I think we're probably supposed to play the grid just to make sure they don't get me later with the Mind Break. They didn't have one last turn, but I think it's still probably just the correct move. We'll play an opal that triggers, filter, play another opal. This gets us up to five. With five mana, we can play Hornfell, which makes a mana. I can play Chrome Mox, but I don't have anything to imprint, so we're going to discard the card. We get Grid and another Mycosynth, so I'm going to end up being just short of being able to use this relay, unfortunately. We'll play out the Chrome Mox. I, I took a risk here and it didn't pay off. Uh, it's unfortunate, but we're going to be okay. Play another grid. Get in there. We have a lot of zeros in our deck. I thought hitting one zero off that discard into a relay for six or whatever would have been okay. And it looks like our opponent just doesn't have it. I could bounce the ley line. I'm not sure if that's really what I want here, though. Well, let's start by going to combat. I, uh, no box. Okay. Discard the Echoing Truth. Ooh, I could have disc... Okay, I, I just realized I, I might have messed up there. I could have bounced my Chrome Moxes and gotten more cards. The gamble here is a little bit awkward with a Ley Line in play. And I can't get an Echo due to the Ley Line. So the best thing we can do is just remove a card we don't want from our deck. The bouncing Chrome Mox thing would have been smart. I just didn't do it. We'll remove Simeon Spirit Guide and then play Lotus Petal. Pass after that. Rat Colony. And they're getting in, so we're going to take two. They choose to not file in another Rat Colony. Maybe they're trying to get me on attacking with Bergy again. Ooh. Let's take a look at our sideboard here. So I can cast Burning Wish off Opal. In Ancient Tomb, and I'd have two mana floating. One from Bergy, one from the Ancient Tomb. And then I have one Lotus Petal. So I can relay for two here. That's the best I can do. Or I can... 
Burning Wish into Relay is the same as discarding the Burning Wish to the Horn. Tough call. And I can't empty, unfortunately. I think it's crazy, but I'm just supposed to discard the Burning Wish. Unfortunate. So I hit the city that I almost took out when I gambled. So this could have been a Simeon Spirit Guide. And then we have Lion's Eye Diamond. So now we're begging to draw into another Burning Wish, because now we could actually do something with it. And we have to pass the turn. So they're going to put in another rat colony. Surprise, surprise. And then if they vial in another, we're taking eight down to six. Sure, no blocks. I can't believe it was a rat colony. That's so crazy. Come on, duck. That doesn't do it. We'll discard to the horn. Galvanic relay. I'm sorry, but I think you're too late. Okay. We are going to reboard now, and I'm sorry, Tony, I'm going to go against your voice in my head. I'm going to bring in some empties. Defense grid does not feel good. Uh, we should probably leave in one empty in the board, or you can, we'll leave in two grid, three empty. We'll do this. We don't need wish when we side in empty. And empty also gives us a really good plan for beating ley line. Um, what does this do other than lose the ley line? I think you're actually supposed to ship this. So this is turn one, four goblins. Yikes. Okay, I think we're going to keep this and it's going to sound crazy. I'm going to get rid of the burning wish. So the idea here is that I'm going to not play anything on turn one. And I'm going to hold the defense grid. So on turn two, I can play grid into the empty and it'll be empty for six. A really subtle thing to, that you might have noticed in the game, second game is their deck, rat colony, it becomes X1, not plus one, plus one. So their rats actually die to empty the warrens. And Lotus Petal makes it eight goblins this turn. So we'll play defense grid, play the petal, exile Simeon Spirit Guide, right of flame. Go to 16 and empty the warrens for eight goblins. Goblins versus rats. Classic legacy matchup. Swarm yard so they can regenerate the rat. Opal. I think I'm going to sit on this. We do have relay in our deck. Swing. They're at 12. They can now put a rat onto the battlefield. And regenerate it. Instead they concede. Goblins always defeat rats. In fact, you might even think that goblins eat rats for dinner. It might be true. I don't know what their dietary restrictions are. But we're 1-0. Round 2 coming up. Moxfield.com is the easiest way to build a magic deck online. They support over 30 formats, including Legacy and many other Eternal formats. There are so many options to view decks the way that you want, from text view to individual cards, mana value, and even card price. There's also light mode and dark mode. My personal favorite feature is card tags. This way you can sort cards by function. Moxfield supports collection tracking, scryfall search, deckless feedback, and so much more. Follow me on Moxfield.com so you can stay updated on all of my decks. Match number two, we're on the play. We have Overmaster, but not Gamble. This hand doesn't spin the wheel we're going to ship. So we have a Gamble this time, but no Echo. I believe we're going to five here. Five cards it is. So here we have Gardens. We have Double Burning Wish, but our hand doesn't actually do anything. So we could put back Gardens Wish. Monolith... Off Ancient Tomb, Petal, Petal, Relay for five? Is that better than just trying to mull the Echo? I'm going to mulligan. So we have Gamble Diamond. The downside here is that neither of our lands actually makes red. I think we're going to keep this, but it's risky. I think if you want to play the Microsynth Gardens, we should consider cutting... Other cards in her deck and play the full four Simeon Spirit Guides. I think that would actually go a really long way. Just food for thought for Tony. I think we want two more Spirit Guides. So we'll keep this. Get rid of Bergy and Grim Monolith. Oh, we're on four. My bad. So 
These will be the four that we keep. Our opponent reveals Chancellor of the Annex. Okay. So we'll play Gardens, play the Diamond, pay for the Chancellor tax. Interested to see if they're on Reanimator or Initiative. Chancellor has been picking up an Initiative recently, and it's sort of fallen by the wayside in Reanimator. It's not a card that sees a lot of play anymore, and they are on Initiative. All right, so it looks like we get to spin the wheel, but no mana floating. So we have to filter into a red. Play out the Chrome Mox. Filter into a red. We'll cast Gamble. Grab the Echo. And then spin the wheel. New Hand doesn't do it. We have to pass. City of Traders. Archon of Emeria. That's a Heartbreaker. Can our deck actually beat that? We have Burning Wish and a Void Snare. And I would have to draw the Burning Wish. Okay, I mean, it's a long road, but let's start it here. Play Gamble. Grab the Burning Wish. Right of Flame to the bin. Land for turn. We'll pass. Archon gets in. We'll fall the 18. Double Archon. Tony, you did not build your deck to beat Double Archon. We're going to just pick this one up. Our Echo was significantly better for our opponent than it was for us. Okay, so on the play... Most initiative decks aren't playing Mind Break anymore, so I just think we just want to be a turbo combo deck. So I'm interested in a lot of empties, maybe even all four. I'm interested in the Echoes, interested in Void Snare. I am actually not super interested in Galvanic Relay, so we'll board down to one of those. Overmaster is a red cantrip. Uh, is that better than Galvanic Relay? I just don't love passing the turn, but I think Relay is probably better. Could board in the Spree as well. Take out the Overmaster. I don't think I like boarding in all four empty. It seems really dangerous. Let's just submit this. Game two, we're on the play. This does the thing. Yeah, keep. Leyland of the Void. That's just not nice. And they have a Chancellor. That's really awkward. Um, think we just pass. Plains Lotus Petal from Mox. They can tuck the Chancellor underneath that. Elite Spellbinder. It's possible for us to beat the Spellbinder, but very difficult because they're likely just going to take our Diamond here. They take the Simeon Spirit Guide. Okay, that's fair. I mean, we do have a Chancellor tax to worry about. Ancient Tomb, beautiful. So we'll play Diamond, pay for the Chancellor tax, and we'll play out the Opal. Pass the turn. Still very much in this. They have one card in hand, and it's Seasoned Dungeoneer, so they have the initiative. We have the Echoing Truth for the Ley Line. So it's going to take some setup, but we can do this. All right, so we're taking four down to 14. Draw, wish, play the Grim Monolith, pass the turn. So on their end step, we need to tap the Grim Monolith and the Mox Opal because we only have one color, colored source here. So we want to tap our two artifacts and then Echoing Truth, the Ley Line of the Void. They're swinging for nine, 10 actually when they explore. So is my Ancient Tomb going to be shut off? Am I just dead? Wow. I think I'm dead. They reveal the land, so I... Okay, so... I'm at three instead of two. That's huge. And they're passing. Okay, so we have to tap this for blue. Echoing Truth, the Ley Line. Unfortunately, Grim Monolith is not going to untap. We'll take a draw. City of Traders. Hmm. I wish I could play this Bergy somehow. So we could play City of Traders, tap the Opal, play Bergy, crack the Diamond to play Simeon Spirit Guide the hard way, but that's just not worth it. I think we need to accept that we just have to go all in on Echo here. I don't know if playing the City is right, but I think you're supposed to take the guaranteed mana. All right, so we'll sacrifice this for blue. We'll tap the City. We're going to Echo Floating Double Blue. 
Storm is two. Okay. What to do? I am dead to trap, so empty is not an option here. So my immediate thought is that we're short on red mana, so one thing I could do is play Chrome Mox, imprint the Rite of Flame, and then tap the Ancient Tomb going to one, and Void Snare an Artifact, make a red, and we're trying to build into Wish into Reforge, but I don't know if we can actually make that much mana. Or Wish into Gamble using one of... so. We would use Void Snare on one. This actually might work. Okay, we're just going to play spells because there's no point in counting it out because I either have it or I don't. So we'll imprint the Rite of Flame. Go to one. Play the Bergy. Play Mox Opal. This triggers the Bergy. We'll keep the new one. Tap Opal for a blue. I don't think I'm supposed to pick up the Grim Monolith. And then we'll Void Snare the Opal. Was I supposed to tap it for a black? Did I just miss a Tendrils win here? I don't know. I might have just missed a Tendrils win. So now we'll replay the Opal. Pay. We need one blue floating. I did. I just missed a Tendrils win. Damn. That sucks. I was too fast. We'll grab Gamble. A little disappointed in myself right now. Gamble happens. We'll go grab Echo. Flashback Echo. So we have two open or two mana between the Opal and the Red Floating. Empty doesn't do it. So how we would win now is playing Bergy into Horn. So it's two mana. Grim Monolith. Tap for mana. Tap for mana. Play Horn. Once again, now we have a red floating. We need to discard into the Burning Wish. So we'll discard a card. The Gardens. Opal Rite of Flame. Discard the Ancient Tomb. Gamble. Gamble could do it. We'll play the Rite of Flame. We have a 66% to win off the gamble. Or I could go get the last echo. I think that's probably the play here. Let's continue to discard then. Or maybe that's not the right move. Because what if I accidentally reveal the echo? Yeah, I think we're supposed to gamble. Grab the echo. Discard echo to horn. We hit wish. Wish does it. Play the Wish, Sacrifice Diamond for Black, and Tendrils of Agony. We did it. My punt did not come back and bite me in the keister. We beat a Leyline of the Void. Whew. Exciting. All right, so I guess I just resubmit here. Game three. We're never beating an Archon with this hand, but this hand can beat a Leyline. They mulligan to six. I guess we keep. Play Line of the Void. They have five cards in hand. Ancient Tomb. Lotus Petal. Ugh. That's how it's going to be, huh? Play Gardens Pass. A Ganjo. We have two Echoing Truths and one Void Snare. And they followed up with White Plume. I don't think we're winning this. All right. From Mox. Ancient Tomb comes into play tapped. Nothing in the sideboard answers Archon. I feel like, Tony, you might want some slaughter packs in your board. Imprint a Wish. Pass. Are we even able to beat this? I don't know. I guess if I draw a Void Snare for turn... No, Void Snare doesn't do it because of the Ley Line. We're just Stone Cold Dead. They take the Burning Wish. Yep. White Plume happens. We draw a Gamble, and we are dead on board. Unfortunate. So now we're one in one. Yeah, I, I think that, like, playing the deck a little bit more, I think we want to maximize Spirit Guide so that way Mycosynth can do its thing on turn one more often. 
and you're not short on red sources, initial red sources at least. And I also think that like Slaughter Pact is a really good card right now because Initiative is leaning so hard on Archon. Just my two cents. Tony, you're welcome to test it. You're welcome to ignore me. I don't care. It's fine. But uh, we're going to head on over to match number three. I hope to see you there. Looking to make playing your favorite combo deck much easier? Look no further than the Epic Storm Mini Token Combo Pack, which is available at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $14.99. This combo token pack comes with 84 double-sided tokens. That includes our classic Storm and Mana tokens as well as fan favorites such as Goblins, Squirrels, and Slime Time Live. But that's not all. We've expanded this token pack to cover a variety of formats with new tokens. Stop on by the epicstorm.com slash shop and make an easy decision to elevate your combo game. Match three on the play. This is a turn one relay. Okay. Twist my arm. We'll play the ancient tomb into Grim Monolith. Lotus Petal. Mox Opal. Tap the Opal. Play another Opal. And an interesting question here is do you tap the monolith or do you just get rid of your lotus petal? And I think you're supposed to get rid of the petal. Five cards coming off the top. Pass the turn. Basic island into ponder. Okay, they did not shuffle in defense grid. Funny it is seeing you here. Play the grid, 16. The grid just resolves. Play diamond. Tap the monolith and we will copy lion's eye diamond. Sacrifice for blue. Sacrifice for red. We'll hard cast the echo of aeons. Three floating so we can always flash it back here. Play out diamond again. So I could take a guaranteed relay or I can keep my mana open or after the next echo i think i'm going to try to high roll hopefully it doesn't bite me in the butt all right flashback echo it did not bite me in the keister we'll play a lotus petal play grim monolith tap the monolith burning wish and we'll grab the chicken tenders so we know our opponent plays ponder what kind of messed up person would play that card in the year 2023 who knows? All right, going to game number two. We're facing a blue deck of swords. Tony always brings an empty in these matchups. Words out wish. I'm trying to remember what the other cuts were. Not really sure. I know it's crazy, and people are going to tell me I'm wrong. I'm actually going to board out City on the draw. Against blue decks, I don't think City's actually that great because you're not trying to. You're trying to play a longer game and City doesn't allow you to do that. And now I'm leaning on Grim Monolith versus Simian Spirit Guide, and I think I'm going to do one Grim Monolith because Simian Spirit Guide is an initial red source for the empty. Hmm. They snap mulliganed. Sand just doesn't really do anything. We'll join them. We have turn one grid into Burning Wish with two floating, which just it doesn't do it, but I'll still take a uh, turn one grid. This could be a turn two empty. Take a draw. Seeming so Spear Guide. So that's actually turn one um, Galvanic Relay. Resolves. So it'd be Relay for six. I think that's fine. Right of Flame. Right of Flame. Lotus Petal, Burning Wish. I'd rather empty here, but Galvanic Relay is acceptable. Six cards coming off the top rope. Grim Monolith, Empty, Ancient Tomb, Gamble, Defense Grid, Burgi. So there's a severe lack of red mana there. Pass the turn. Lines Eye Diamond, please. Draw. Overmaster is not red mana. That's really painful. We're in trouble now. Play the grid. Pass the turn. You're sneaking show. Okay. So I, we don't want empty here. 
Brotherhood's end, okay. So empty would have been bad. We were stuck in a lose-lose. I'm good just conceding. We've already lost this one. Let's go to the next one. We could take the empties out. Sneak and show. We want the wish back. So I think we actually just submit our game one configuration. Let's run it back. On the play. Fortunately, this just doesn't do anything meaningful. This does. We can turn one grid into Echo. Bottom the gardens. City of Traders, defense grid. They have six in hand. That resolves. Lotus petal. Lines at diamond. Pearl mox. No imprint. Sacrifice the petal for a red and we'll cast Gamble. Gamble is going to go select Echo Veance, which goes directly to the graveyard. But that's fine because that's actually where we were going to put that card anyway. We'll flash back. Storm is six. Can this do anything? So we have Opal. We can play Grimonolith. That doesn't really do anything either. I believe I'm going to cycle Overmaster here. Okay, pass. I think we're looking at another Gamble into Echo next turn. Because we have Gamble and Echo off of Burning Wish, Burning Wish. Mainstorm Brainstorm. Main Phase Brainstorm. Narrating isn't always easy. Actually, I think I, I'm short of... No, I have the Opal. Ooh. Play the Monolith. Burning Wish. Yes. I could also just go get Reforge here. Is that the play? I think it actually is, because it reduces the variance of me, like, entombing my Lion's Eye Diamond. We're getting Reforge. Pitch Spirit Guide, Pitch Spirit Guide. Play the Gardens. City Triggers. Tap for Colorless. Reforge the Soul. Unfortunately, I have to pass here. It's a bummer. So I could play Chromox and print Rite of Flame, but we're lacking a red card. One nice thing is we could use the Gardens to copy Defense Grid if need be. Fable the Mirror Breaker. It's an odd one. Surgical Burning Wish. That hurts. We still have a Wish on our deck to win the game with. Okay. Take a draw. Another copy of Galvanic Relay. So we need to be able to untap. Right of Flame. Right of Flame. Play the Grim Monolith. Play the Gardens. Chrome Mox. No imprint. Tap the Monolith. Relay. So this is a relay for six, followed by a relay for seven. And then we'll pass the turn. No need to main phase copy diamond here. If we do that, our opponent could have another Brotherhood's End and just blow us out of the water. We don't want that to happen. Discards Ancient Tomb Volcanic Island. They're going to combat, so we're not dead. That's good. They make a treasure. Five cards in hand. And they're passing. So now we'll copy the Lion's Eye Diamond. Sweet. Draw. We did not hit the... Wish, but that's fine. Ouch. Play another defense grid. Lines I diamond. Sacrifice a pair of lines I diamond. Well, hardcast echo. They're fetching here. Sure. We'll tap opal. I think what we want to do here is play Bergy into. I'm sorry, play Rite of Flame into Hornfell. And then. Discard most of our hand doing that. Okay, so now we're just digging for the wish. We have 22 cards in deck. We have a number of overmasters, so we can go pretty deep. Discard. I think I'm actually supposed to discard Lions of Diamonds here, as odd as that is. Did we hit it? We have 12 cards in deck. No, it looks like we did not hit the wish. Play a diamond, play a diamond. Let's make some red mana. Blue mana. We'll cast over master. Discard that to the right of flame. We hit the wish. 
So now we'll cast Wish. Sacrifice the Lion's Eye Diamond. Guess we'll play another defense grid. Okay, and then our opponent has conceded. We've won the match. We are now two and one. If you're still watching, make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. While you're near the description, here's a reminder to use our affiliate links if you're going to make a purchase from Amazon, Card Hoarder, or TCG Player. Just above those affiliate links, you'll find our social channels. Make sure to join those to connect with us. Match number four, and we're actually facing Tony Scaponi. This could be the Epic Gamble Mirror. It could also be Black Saga Storm versus the Epic Gamble. Here we have a hand that just like doesn't really play magic. So we're going to ship this. This isn't what we're looking for either. We're going to mulligan. So this is a five. Yeah, I think we just need to go to four. We're going to three. I guess so. We're just praying to rip a gamble or a, an echo. Tony is on five. Lotus Petal. Lines at Diamond. Lines at Diamond. Teach me how to mulligan, Tony. Tony just opened up a turn one ad nauseum on the play. There it is. Cabal Ritual. We're already dead. Flips at five stops. We'll concede. Okay. That stunk. We don't need defense grid. We don't really have a lot on the board, though, for the Storm Mirror. So that's a little awkward. Um, I guess bounce spells are just better. And there's Shattering Spree. Submit. Being on the draw, not ideal. Even if we are fortunate enough to win game number two, being on the draw game three versus the discard spell deck is not good. Uh, so we have Grim Monolith, Lotus Petal, so we could play Bergy, but not anything else after that. And we're a mana short of Hornfell, so we just need a mulligan. This hand does the thing, so we're going to keep this. Keep, get rid of the gardens. Okay, so Pitch Simeon Spirit Guide. We'll cast Rite of Flame. Gamble. Lines at Diamond. Okay, so now we play the diamond, play gardens. We'll copy the lines at diamond. And this is a great spot to show you why Simeon Spirit Guide is so good and why they'd actually be playing four of it. I think only playing two is hurting this current iteration with the gardens in it. Like, we just need to cut City of Traders and one other card. Okay. Echo floating four mana. Let's play the Bergy. Gamble. Triggers. Lions at Diamond. Rolling pretty high on my uh, gambles in this league. Typically, I'm not someone that uh, likes the card Gamble because it's basically Red and Tomb. Hasn't happened to me yet. And I probably just jinxed it. We'll Overmaster. Make a red, draw a card. Another Diamond? That's crazy. Blue. Red. Tap the Grim Monolith. Uh, actually, hold on. We should do black. Because then if I draw Tendrils, or Burning Wish for Tendrils, it's just lethal. Alright, Storm 11. Ding dong. Burning Wish, yes. Grab the Tendies. Alright, so we've had a pair of turn ones. Tony's on the play this time. I can't do anything about it. We just have to uh, submit and pray. Tony's deck also has a boatload of discard in it. So game three on the draw, I don't think we should be hyper mulliganing. Ideally, I would open up like double Lion's Eye Diamond deco. Game three, Tony on the play. Hasn't decided to keep her draw yet, or keep her mulligan. Kept seven. Uh oh. So in the Storm Mirror, I don't think we want Relay anyway. We just have to ship this. So if we draw a Gamble or Burning Wish, this hand pops off. I think we actually do keep this versus the discard deck. Oh, Tony did mulligan. No, that's incorrect. For some reason, there's a pause here. Leyline of the Void. What? Tony, come on. Gonna do me like that? And a turn one? Oh, we're just getting her decked. <laughs> That's a one of Helm. That's a one of Helm. 
That is insane. Tony just one of me. Oh, jeez. That is ridiculous. I know for a fact there's only one of these in the sideboard. <laughs> All right. We have lost the game. Oh, jeez. 2-2. Two, two. Match 5 coming up. With card order, renting your favorite combo deck has never been easier. There isn't a more affordable solution for Magic Online. Want to play the deck in this video? Check out the pink comment below to easily rent the deck from Card Hoarder. Did you know you can rent the Epic Storm from Card Hoarder for as little as 7 tickets a week? We've made it simple to do so by including a button to rent the entire deck at theepicstorm.com slash decklist. Match number 5, we're on the draw. I'm going to keep this. What a wild match versus Tony. Three turn one wins, perfect magic. Unfortunately, we were not the victor. Here our opponent plays planes with the Yorian. I have to guess that they're death and taxes, so I don't know if I want to play out this defense grid. We'll play Chrome Mox. Imprint. Play another Chrome Mox. This is not a control player planes, by the way. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to disrespect our opponent here. Tap for a blue. Play Opal. Lines at Diamond. Add three blue. Flashback Echo. You're not on a blue deck. You're just playing DT. What to do here? Grim Monolith. Tap that. We'll play Defense Grid. Chrome Mox. Imprint the Overmaster. Lines of Diamond. Tap. Old priority cast Burning Wish. Sack the Diamond for triple black. Grab the Tendrils. Boom. Sweet. One game away from getting a pity chest. We're facing DNT. I have to imagine Overmaster is the card that comes out here. Tony does leave in grid for Mind Break in this matchup. A lot of lists play two. And I think we want Empty the Warrens over Relay. Submit. Game two, our opponent revealed their Yorian. We have the answer to Deafening Silence, all that good stuff. The problem here is that our hand doesn't actually do anything. Uh, we could try to discard Echo the old-fashioned way. I think instead I'm just going to Mulligan. Sure. So we'll get rid of a Burning Wish. Basic Planes. Deafening silence, yep. That hurts. Draw. Chrome Mox. Imprint pass. If they try to wasteland me, I can just copy the Chrome Mox in response. Unfortunately, we don't have an answer to this deafening silence in the board. They do play wasteland. And they decide to use it immediately. So we will copy Chrome Mox. No imprint trigger. I wasn't sure how that would work. I guess I didn't need to tap the uh, the Chrome Mox there. Ancient Tomb. I think I should just gamble here for Void Snare. That was actual perfect. That was best possible outcome right there. Land two and they're passing. We're going to play Petal and then pass. I don't have another way of generating blue. Okay. They have five in hand. They plain cycle timeless dragon. They play the land. What can you do with three mana? Lauren of the third path. So that I can blow up my petal here. They go after the chrome mox. You're giving me life. Okay. Red source. That does it. Okay. So step one, we void snare the deafening silence. Chrome mox. We are forced to imprint this Burning Wish. Lines at Diamond. They're thinking hard here. Did I misplay by not gamble? No, I, I made the correct decision. If they surgical my gamble, uh, I mean, I'm not supposed to gamble with an LED in hand. Okay, so that resolves. We'll play the gamble. Is it a mind break? What's the pause? Let's go. And they do have the mind break. We will concede. Okay. Deafening Silence is coming back down. You might be thinking, Bryant, you could have drawn an echo. We're not going to beat the Deafening Silence. Let's just go to uh, the next one. Submit. Game three, run the play. 
we have a turn one defense grid, but not not even a turn one defense grid because the gardens doesn't tap for a red. This is actually just a mulligan. This hand doesn't do a whole lot. To five. This could be a keep, but it's a little bit weak against um, deafening silence, but I think we're supposed to just run it. Get rid of the gardens and actually. Okay, we're on five. Opponent with a mulligan to four. Okay. Spell one is Chrome Mox. Imprint the empty, cast gamble. So I guess the question is, are you supposed to take the 50-50 and have the extra land? Or do you... I think you're supposed to just, like, take the extra 16%. I mean, it sucks if you end up discarding the land, but I think it's just the correct move. Grab the diamond. Of course it's red and tomb. I even talked about it earlier in the league and I jinxed it. Ah, uh, brutal. We probably just lost. I'm sure if I took the other play, though, where I played Ancient Tomb and then discarded it, the chat would have uh, eaten me alive for the comment section. So I think it was a lose-lose. Turn one vial. Come on, Lion's Eye Diamond off the top, please. Draw. No such luck. Pass. So I guess uh, Bergy slash Hornfell just became a decent draw if they don't waste me. Wasteland number two. Okay. Sure. Lines at diamond, please. Take a draw. Nope. Play the pedal. We'll pass. Aether vial into Mother of Ruins. Vials on two, they could have a Thalia. They swing with the mom. Gardens, that doesn't really do me much good here. They activate the vial. Stoneforge Mystic. That's a Cauldra. No land. They swing for two, we'll follow the 17. They have three cards in hand. Vile's on three. Chromox doesn't do it. Leaving Vile on three. Incoming Cauldra. Alright, so we're taking six. We only have a couple draw steps left. Please, Doc. Pretty please. Brutal. Pass the turn. Land three, vial on three. So I'm pretty sure our opponent has a trap in hand. Interesting. They chose to leave back the Mother of Ruins. I guess it doesn't change the clock at all. Rest in peace. That probably ends it. We'll copy Lotus Petal. Oh, I keep on forgetting. I, I don't have to pay mana to copy a petal. It's free. Okay. Draw. That leaves me one mana short. So we went 2-3. Not exactly a good record. I think that the deck is really short on colored sources now. But the Marcus in the Gardens is actually good. So how do we fix that? I think you cut the city. And I think you definitely want Spirit Guide 3 and 4. The cut for 4 is interesting. I think it's probably Overmaster. And then I would run this. In the sideboard, you need answers to Archon. With Initiative being arguably the most popular deck in Legacy, if you look at Goldfish right now, Delver is first. But when you combine all of the Initiative decks together, you get a much larger percentage than the Delver deck. So Slaughter Pact is just your best card in that matchup. I would be looking to play that. What to cut from the sideboard? People aren't going to agree with me here, especially players that play the deck, but this is my two cents. I'm going to share it. I think that you could probably cut a win condition. You don't need both of these. I would probably personally cut the grape shot. People aren't playing Veil of Summer anymore. So this is sort of like a cutesy slot that can sometimes kill a collector roof or something. But you have other cards. Alternatively, you could cut a couple copies of Empty. There's decisions to be made here. Maybe you don't need the Reforge. I'm not really sure. But I think you want at least two copies of Slaughter Pact in your deck if I was to play this deck again. I'm only my opinion. I'm open to being wrong, but that's what I'm thinking at the moment. Uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day and keep storming. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video.
If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.